Thank you. Manitoba has the second highest rural crime rate in Canada, which the stats show that it's being driven by northern crime. This is a direct result of this government's complete and total abandonment of the north, addictions and poverty in Manitoba. And finally, three years later, a peep as to what this government is doing to better the relationship between RCMP and Indigenous people. I'd like to table this article by APTN titled, Were You Turned On At All By This? An RCMP officer asks an Indigenous youth during a sexual assault, assault report. Most Conservatives in Manitoba believe that community safety is important, except the ones sitting here. Can the Minister tell me what his The member's time has expired. <laughs> the Honourable Minister of Justice. Uh, well, thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. And uh, I know we uh, certainly look at uh, statistics and we view uh, some of these statistics uh, with, with some alarm. Uh, we certainly are concerned about uh, some of the statistics we are seeing across the province. Uh, in my previous uh, response here, we are investing uh, in northern Manitoba. A lot of the resources I talked about in this previous announcement uh, from yesterday will go into uh, RCMP hands in these uh, northern communities. And we really want to build relationships uh, with RCMP and the people in these communities so that we can take uh, a fight out of the, the criminal activity that is happening in these remote communities. The Honourable Member for Kuwait Nook on a supplementary question. Community policing only works when it's being supported by all levels of government. For years in Manitoba, governments have set up policing groups to fail, like the Institutional Safety Officers, Community Biz Patrols, First Nation Safety Officers and others. All these groups have been given the legislative tools without the practical tools, such as training and equipment, that they really need to make a difference in their communities. The NDP and PCs then leave the programs in a continual state of underfunding, unable to do the immense job that they have been tasked with. And then they complain when, that these programs do not work. Can the minister tell us what his mandate states in respect to public safety? The Honourable Minister of Justice. Uh, well, Madam Speaker, I don't agree with uh, the premise of uh, the question. Uh, certainly, we brought forward a criminal justice modernization strategy. Uh, certainly, that strategy talks specifically about being uh, tough on major crimes. We are doing that. Uh, we're certainly putting the resource in the police officers' hands. Uh, this year's budget alone, we allowed for an, an extra 29 RCMP positions across Manitoba. Uh, we're investing more money than ever before in criminal uh, operations here. We set aside $2.3 million in this particular budget to deal with illicit uh, drugs and certainly we're investing all kinds of money across Manitoba, including northern Manitoba, to achieve results. The Honourable Member for Kuwait Nook on a final supplementary. Thank you. In 2015, the province took over the First Nation Safety Officer Program from the Harper Conservatives. Rather than investing in the program, it was left as is, completely underfunded, and today it is no surprise that it is failing. In some of my communities, the FNSOs work their shifts as expected, but the stress of not getting paid in a timely fashion, or even at all, is a continuous worry. But they do it anyway because our people are gripped with the meth drug crisis that is taking place across our province. They are our heroes. The, FS, the FNSOs want search and seizure training, not traffic violation training in a place where there are hardly any roads. A set of two-way radios would be great. The member's when time has expired. The Honourable Minister of Justice. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. In terms of training, I will advise the member opposite that we actually just did uh, renew an agreement uh, with the Cinnaboyne Community College to provide uh, additional training for frontline officers uh, for northern communities. That's been a very successful program. I will also talk about our criminal justice modernization strategy. It talks a lot about uh, restorative justice. Uh, we sent over 5,000 cases to restorative justice last year alone. Uh, and we also are going to be increasing the capacity of other communities to deal with restorative justice. Uh, we think this is a tremendous opportunity uh, for you 
youth to be accountable and not getting into the uh, criminal justice system. So a lot of work and a lot of energy is going in for positive results and we are getting the job done on behalf of Manitobans. Sure.